action. Lisbon-based illustration crew Gorms Gang, who work with both traditional forms of illustration and urban art, incorporate unique transformations of famous cartoon and video game characters into their work. For the illustration gang's four members, collaboration is thought of as graffiti and art interventions, which are politically and socially charged. Their style provokes inspiration and indignation in equal measure. Their work has long caught Dr. Christoph Tornau's attention, and we are curious to find out how they have achieved a style that breaks many of the cliches of graffiti, especially the objective of clean, well-produced pieces and characters. The magic word is anti-graffiti, so let's find out. Thank you for your like young couple, but no, you're my hostage. But it's better to be my hostage than Ben's hostage. <laughs> Because Ben is keeping you yeah, for weeks. <laughs> you can only snitch me, but they cannot catch me. <laughs> What is a toy? I think a toy depends on the perspective, you know. Um, a toy. Yeah, several, several types of toys. There's toys <laughs> that belong in graffiti movement. They don't know how to pro proper paint. And there's toys that are outside of graffiti. They just write. Yeah, but are you toys? I love those toys. No. You know toys. We don't like those those words like toys and stuff. But it's impossible not but to you, use them. But you're playing with the word toy yeah, all the yeah. time. It's playful to play with those graffiti... Um... Toy, I think it means that you know you don't have the skills and the knowledge. We have the yes. skills and the knowledge. We just like to create something different. Okay, but yes. lately people didn't understand that you know toys. Yeah, because but we, we don't do toys. <laughs> yeah, okay. but we don't paint to people, so... Yeah. We paint for ourselves, of course, but we, we, we don't mind that people think that we don't know how to paint it, that's totally irrelevant for us. I think that in life, normally uh, a, a great percentage of people have no taste, have no knowledge, and they have no... They don't know what to... What to they, they don't have like a proper opinion about things. Like you can, see, you can see it on music, you can see it on art, you can see it on graffiti, uh, you can see it everywhere, right? Yes. Or, at least something that we thought about it, not sure. doing it just for doing it. Okay, but how do you um, connect to your audience or how do you communicate to them? You we just don't communicate with them, we just... But you have fans that yeah. write yeah, to yeah, yeah, like sure. love letters in a way. And we like... are polite to them? Yes. But we don't, we don't, I don't know, we, we, don't, we don't paint with other writers, we don't... Okay. Uh, we don't so if other writers come to Lisbon, um, how often does it occur that you really go paint with them once uh, a year or never? One percent. Yeah, one percent. If the writer is like, is a friend of a friend or also a friend, we can hang with them, with them a bit. Yeah. Just I prefer to, I think we prefer to hang than paint yeah. with other people. Yeah. And a good example of like, what space is for a toy is or Was he a toy? No. He In the beginning he was. Yeah, he like an absolute king. I have But to for the graffiti movement. If you don't know his work, you can see him as a toy. Yeah, I mean, I have to explain. I started like being interested in graffiti in the late 80s, and then also was already present. And um, like in my first, I would say, 10 years of my career as a graffiti writer, um, the majority of the scene thought of him as a toy. And then some of the hardcore writers started to appreciate his work. And um, like five years or six years before he died, um, he um, started to have more connection to the scene. So with my first Gary, the Vicious Gary, we were the first having an exhibition with him. And we also did um, his first um, book, his um, monoprint, Es Lebe der Sprühling. So I knew him quite well, but um, I think um, Within a career of approximately 40 years, he spent at least 30, more likely 34, 5 years, um, 
of being perceived as the biggest toy of all. It was, it was not a toy, it was an outsider. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was an outsider. Yeah, but I think this is very important because I think many things um, come to point when it's about language. And I think toy is something that people use very often, quite often toys that are basically beginners to the scene like to use the this word on others that are much more beginners yeah, yeah, yeah. to uplift themselves. I think when, when we say toy, yeah, uh, yeah, that's I think that that's not the, the right word. But I think when we say toy, we are we are talking like a Bill Trailer. You know, like Bill Trailer is not like a contemporary artist. Yeah, sure. He's an outsider artist. Yes. So it's like a parallelism between like uh, not people that belong. And, and and make part of the, the the art scene yeah they of course they when at some point they are part of the art scene but that was not their intention in, uh, from the beginning no and uh, and that's that's those toys that we we normally we say yes. like the real ones normally are something like that like people that they have the joy of painting the the, the joy of drawing but they don't belong to a um, community, like they don't belong to a graffiti scenario. But I think what you said is uh, quite correct. Um, quite often it's um, artists that have been considered as outsiders in the beginning of the career that are going to be mainstream one day or even being remembered as those who have uh, created a new image of art. Yeah, but normally outsider artists, they don't have the idea of the art, yes. the, the art movement, you know, that they, they, they paint just because they want to paint, yes. and that's the beauty of it. And 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 we can and we also can see it on 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 those graffiti, yeah, on those guys that. But until now, we were just speaking about graffiti, and I mean graffiti is his own world. How do you relate to like the contemporary fine arts world? What do you think about it? Mm. Yeah, but are you a part of it or just even more outside? I think the perspective, the, 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 the I think the, 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 it's quite the same as uh, we as graffiti artists or not graffiti, not proper graffiti artists. It's quite yes. the same as us as proper ar artists. artists okay, sure. Yeah. But I mean, when you talk about being a proper artist, for me, a proper artist is somebody who's like thinking and breathing and living art like 24 7 yeah, yes. yes so you do that but we are not but we don't belong to the to the to the art scenario yes but let's talk about like what is your artist life so you get up in the morning and you think about right. art and then every day you create art yeah that's yeah, what every day. yeah that's all we do yes like, we, I mean for me it's clear other. but we have to talk to people who yeah, yeah. don't know you call each other oh just, I just have this idea we have oh, to do it yeah. and he told me this, yeah, or yeah, sometimes I, I draw like a letter like oh look at this bee and yeah. I call him like did, did you saw that bee yeah. it's only a bee you know but for yeah, us the letter B, <laughs> the letter B and yes. now I am having um, two um, hello now we have like two members of Germans gang how many are you at all three three, three. And um, what I really would want to know, because I mean, I don't know if it's Portuguese, Germans is like a translation of yeah. the word germs. Yeah. yeah. So Literally. you're basically the germs gang. Yeah. And um, how does this name, um, where does it come from? Are you feeling like being germs in the graffiti world or in the art world? I think it comes from the punk kind of sound of germs okay do you feel connected to be germs gang or germis gang are you still germs for for graffiti kids i think we are so okay. this still makes sense like after yes 15 years of germs gang perfect <laughs>
and every week it's dirty again? Yeah, it grows fast. Okay. It's grass. Crazy shit. <laughs> Is it enough? Okay. Or not? In another try wasn't funny enough? I'm in a funny mood. Okay, we make it serious. Make it a bit serious. The boys can be funny, but you not. Okay, good. So, German King, thank you uh, for having us here. Where are we? Uh, this is uh, Santa Monica, California. This is actually the place where they film Robocop. Okay. And the Robocop was whole film here. No, 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 it's not for sure, no. no. Uh, we are on our breakout. Okay. Um, yeah. And you're doing what? Um, yeah, just hanging out. Yeah, we paint here. Cool. So you paint like every wall? Yeah, we only paint here. Okay. And are you the only ones who paint here? Yeah. But I've seen some things that look like yeah, I've toys. Seen some guests. <laughs> yeah, the, it's before it's our backyard. Oh, okay. Now it's Good. ours. Perfect. I like the place. It's so good. you come here every day? Um, not every day, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, morning, morning, uh, Monday to Friday. Okay, so it's like your office. Ten to six. Yeah. Okay, so if like fans want to meet you, they they can apply to the okay. request. If they're invited, they can come here, yeah. Cool. Okay. Nice Thank place. You. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>